Got a chance yesterday to sit down with Esther George, the Kansas City Federal Reserve President. She's the host of this meeting this year and every year. Um, and we talked about whether or not she regretted. Uh, remember, she dissented at the last meeting. Esther, whether or not she regretted uh, dissenting and not voting for the rate cut. Then, of course, we talked about where she thought rates ought to go from here. My sense was we've added accommodation, um, right. and it wasn't it wasn't required in my view. So I'm observing the downside risk, and right now I'm really focused on what the Federal Reserve has to do to achieve its mandates. And in my view, with this very low unemployment rate, with wages rising, with the inflation rate staying close to the Fed's target, I think we're in a good place relative to the mandates that we're asked to achieve. How is the economy performing relative to your forecast right now? Last year was stronger performance, and I thought 2019 would not be as strong, but still coming in around 2%. So for my outlook, I think 2% growth still looks possible for the U.S. Is our risk tilted to the downside? In your I opinion? think they are tilted to the downside, and uh -huh. I've thought that for some time. As you uh -huh. look at uh, global growth weakening, mm -hmm. And as you look at the amount of uncertainty associated with some of these trade issues, um, I think both of those are weighing on the outlook. Um, whether they begin to spill over in a way that we see effects in the real economy is what I'm watching for. What is your outlook for trade? Is it an issue of uncertainty for years to come, months to come? Do you have a, a hope that it's resolved soon? It does seem to be persistent at this stage, and it's hard to see um, how it will be resolved. So. You have to take that uh, as it comes in terms of watching for data that signals it's having an effect on the economy. Have you seen it yet? I think you probably see it in business investment. We hear that from our own business contacts, which um, are trying to think about what the implications are for their particular business. It may cause them to pull back on some of their investments. So I think we're beginning to see some of those effects there. Your district is very heavy in agriculture and in farming. So the ag community in my region um, has experienced low farm incomes for a number of years now, going on five years, well ahead of, of some of these trade issues. Having markets disrupted, particularly, for example, in the soybean production area, um, has been another leg down for the ag sector. And so that puts pressure on an already difficult situation.